the expert in everything was once a beginner so here we are with a step by step guide to start your csir net preparation the first thing you should check in mind is the eligibility check whether you are eligible for the exams or not second thing you must subscribe for your exam form notifications now the worst news you can expect from any student is they missed applying for the exam because no one informed them now you are living in an era of information technology and specially with biotechnica website and app within your reach there is something that must never happened so to do subscribe to biotechnica's email newsletter which is the biotechnica times popularly called as biotechnica times and we will inform you whenever the exam notification of anything related to csir net comes don't forget this service is absolutely free after this you must check out all the important dates when the exam is going to happen when the application uh, needs to be filled out what is that application procedure and also which documents are required the second thing the second step for your csir net preparation starting is the syllabus the syllabus is broad and no one can learn everything keep that in mind so to have you have to select the important topics of the syllabus according to your analysis of the previous year question papers and areas which cover the portion of the maximum syllabus what you can do is that first of all you must download the syllabus from the official website then take a print out of the syllabus and pin it up on your study table it will also act as your to do list and checklist keep preparing one topic keep checking one topic the multiple tick marks will also provide you with a sense of accomplishment and confidence and not only that it will also help you to monitor progress of the syllabus completion how much you have achieved how much is yet to be completed so this practice is a great way to keep your preparation with the timeline as you can monitor the progress properly the last point is learn the syllabus well because if you know the syllabus while studying you will know which is an important point or topic and which one you can drop or read later this will help you to save your time as you would not waste time on less important topics coming to the next step select 8 to 9 units for preparation so for that you must have a knowledge of the important and the scoring units or which topics in syllabus will fetch you maximum marks please make a note of it the scoring units now what i mean by scoring units direct questions very less chances of negative score those are unit 2 cellular organization unit 4 cell communication and signaling unit 5 developmental biology unit 6 plant physiology unit 9 diversity unit 10 ecology and unit 11 evolution try to attempt maximum questions from these units in the exam and that's why you must not leave this for preparation what about the important units well this are the must prepare units because the concepts of these units will be required in other units as well those are unit 1 biochemistry molecules and their interaction relevant to biology cellular organization unit 3 molecular biology that is fundamental processes unit 4 unit 8 inheritance biology or genetics and unit 13 the different methods in biology that is all on techniques now questions are merged from many units together cross unit questions come so you will need these concept to solve questions from other units second thing mark the units you are strong in out of all the 13 total units in the syllabus mark the ones which you are good at you like those subjects you know about them units which and also mark the units which will require lot of effort to prepare so you have never studied animal physiology before you have to study it from scratch that will require a lot of effort you have to decide whether it is really worth it and the third thing what you must do is make the selection out of the 13 you have to select keeping in mind this and this 
make the selection based on your academic background expertise and interest which will require least time to prepare so review the complete csi syllabus for your subject check for all the topics which you have covered during your master's degree and also the others which you need to work on right then the next step is you must make a folder of at least last five year question papers you might think we just started with the syllabus why do i need the question papers now well they they will uh, guide you in a lot of ways first just try the question paper solving with your current knowledge how will that help it will make you analyze where you stand how much you have to progress further how much you have to study how much effort you have to put second note down the topics that you couldn't solve so if you are a beginner you have just completed masters or you are in your uh, first year of masters or anything your last year of uh, uh, masters whatever but at least you will have some few topics which you will not be able to even understand from where it is asked right so just identify the topic name uh, somehow the subject name or topic name and note them down and later you would emphasize on these topics so those topics will be your important topics right third thing is mark this topics in syllabus in a different color for example if they have given a question on c elegance in vulva uh, the vulva development in c elegance so in the syllabus you will find that mark it it's with some highlighter or with some different color okay next step is learn the exam pattern yes not only go through the type of question not only look at the five question paper uh, five years at least five years question paper but you have to learn the rules of the game if you don't know the rules of the game how you're going to play to play uh, the game isn't it so if you start your preparation without knowing what you are entering it will not be effective enough trust me this is a very important step okay and then later in exam you have to play better than anyone else to succeed that's all you have to do let me tell you how learning the exam pattern will help you first you have to know the sections in question paper what type of questions are going to come how many questions you have to attend in each section that is in a b c how many questions you have to attend number of questions to be answered from each section total how many questions are there total how many questions you have to answer be clear of the current trend of the questions whether they are giving more of true or false or they are giving more of graphical more of numericals okay so if there is enzyme kinetics are they giving theoretical question from it or are they giving more numerical questions from it know the current trend right so this will not happen in one day you have to skim through the question papers more often that's why i told you keep a folder of it you can either keep an online folder or you can even take a print out and make a of offline folder that is your on paper whichever you feel is comfortable okay understand the time duration you have to attend a 3 hour exam so how you are going to divide the sections this will give you a, an idea how fast you have to solve the questions and also marking pattern because you need to strategize the correct way to score the maximum marks that is your cut off marks and not only cut off marks the maximum marks possible so that you come in the toppers list and get the spm fellowship sama prasad mukherjee fellowship right next step what you have to do is gather the proper study materials yes now we are ready to begin our preparation standard reference books you can never go wrong with this for example biochemistry leninger Uh, you need to cellular organization carp or cooper or lodish molecular biology you have watson so you need to get your standard books together uh, if you don't uh, don't want to keep hard copy that's okay uh, in case you are a biotechnica student you will get um, access to study portal where all these books are available as ebooks not only the uh, uh, the common standard books but whatever we have in reach we have made it available to our students as ebooks authentic printed study material for revision right you have to take some proper study material uh, from an organization which has excellent track record uh, uh, which uh, which has genuine material and no uh, means uh, which can help you revise better but obviously this is not the first uh, first step you are not going to revise or study from the study material first you are supposed to study from some um, classes or from the standard reference books if you don't want to go for classes but obviously that will take a lot of more time classes help you uh, get it in in very less time the informations and the key 
points or important topics right after that to revise or if you have not missed out anything you can refer to printed study material biotechnical study aids you have to gather that as well because they are in some tabular form or some wheel form flowchart form so notes form these are really very helpful for your preparation believe me they will make your preparation much easier okay so remember an investment in education pays the best interest this is you're not wasting your money it will be an investment for your bright career ahead right the next one next step is yes go for a coaching class right so imagine you need to learn how players prepare for the olympics right so let us uh, give a give you an example of it so olympics the all players they need a coach to train them right they invest their time and energy every day in practice and they are ready to practice even if it is 2 am in the morning so that is what their dedication is and uh, what is the role of the coach they follow every instruction from their coach to the minutest of details if the coach says you practice you practice if the coach says you eat you eat if the coach says you exercise you exercise right so they focus on what they do today instead of worrying about which team won last time right or which person won last time so similarly you also need to implement the strategies in your exam to succeed in it rather than focusing on the unnecessary parts right but what my point over here is a coach is really very important they can guide you not only as a teacher a very good teacher to make you understand the concepts very quickly but also to mentor you throughout this entire period for exam preparation you have to select yes not just any training center but you must select a training center which has excellent track record you can watch the video testimonials of that uh, on youtube if that academy has okay like for example you can watch biotechnical testimonials you will you yourself will get to know what is the track record right because you don't want to waste your money on something which will not give you success then reduces wastage of time and energy as i said if you prepare on your own you will realize something because uh, in graduation post graduation the level of preparation is totally superficial but for csi net you need a very detailed and minute level of study so for that you need to ensure that uh, you enroll in a coaching class so your process becomes faster and moreover you will have your classmates also when you learn together there is a discussion active discussion going on it helps in better retention you get a myriad of questions from other students as well and those can also serve as uh, to be beneficial later right next thing is you have to build a sensitive a uh, sensible routine now in what way sensible routine something which you can really follow right so what about it there will be daily routine like how many hours of study every day time of study which unit you will study which unit i mean how many hours of each unit time of revision when you will do the revision on a daily basis what will you do you make a separate routine on a weekly basis which units or concepts to cover you make a you make a schedule of that which days for complete revision and practice which are the days in the week that for example weekends you can keep saturday sunday for complete revision whatever you have studied in the week okay and then there is monthly so monthly preparation means which units in which month like this unit okay i'll start with unit 1 and in unit 2 next month i'll be focusing on unit 3 and unit 4 so like that best to keep two units per month otherwise it, you will get jumbled up with concepts and which days in the month for taking up mock tests that will come a little later after one two months of preparation but mock tests are very important you have to sit for 3 hours in an isolated environment and prepare Uh, properly and give the exam okay so that you know where you stand all right and last but not the least this is what you have to do to start your preparation study revise practice repeat this you have to just go on in a cycle in a continuum cycle all right so prepare two units per day four units per week not more than that you don't want to confuse yourself so maximum you can do monday unit 1 unit 2 then again uh, tuesday unit 3 unit 4 then again wednesday you come back to unit 1 unit 2 or else you can take monday tuesday wednesday unit 1 and unit 2 and then thursday friday and saturday you can take unit 3 and unit 4 sunday you can revise the entire things what you have studied in the week this is just an example make it personalized according to your choice study a particular concept or subunit from reference books or biotechnical classes as i said it will help you save your time a lot 
make short notes of key points and important concepts this is again a very important thing because when you are studying these things are generally volatile they will go away from your head very quickly so try to write down the key points for later revision all right and keep 1.5 hours every day every day for revising the previous day's work so you have to study you have to revise go, go on a cycle later you can practice questions from previous year question papers biotechnica tufts mnet series toughnet mock test series those will come little later but on a regular basis also keep solving from previous year question papers okay so for mock test why you will attend you will get used to cbt mode of exam computer based test during your preparation itself so that it's not something new and you don't get uh, startled by the pattern in the online question paper so that's all thank you everyone please do comment on what uh, topic you would like to have a video again next time